Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to Snappy Hex Mesh in open form. In this tutorial, we will learn about the parameters in Snappy Hex Mesh to generate mesh in open form. As a prerequisite, the user requires surface data files in STL format located in constant slash try surface subdirectory of the case directory, a domain with hex mesh, snappy hex mesh dict dictionary located in the system subdirectory of case. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system 12.04, OpenFOAM version 2.2.2, .2, Paraview version 3.12.0. Let us learn to create a mesh with the snappy hex mesh utility. The steps are as follows. Step 1. Create a base mesh by using block mesh utility. Step 2. Refine base mesh. Step 3. Remove unused cells. Step 4. Snap mesh to surface. Step 5. Add layers. We will open the terminal and enter the path for flange as shown. Type cd space openform hyphen 2.2.2 slash tutorials slash mesh slash snappy hex mesh slash flange and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. There are two folders constant and system. Type cd space system and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You can see snappy hex mesh dict file. To view the content of the file, type gedit space snappy hex mesh dict and press enter. Note that H, M and D here are in capital letters. This will open up the snappy hex mesh dict file. Snappy hex mesh dict file contains all the instructions and the entire process revolves around this file. With the first rows of snappy hex mesh dict, you can activate or skip sections of the process. In the geometry section, all active regions that take part in snappy process can be defined. The parameters that govern the process of cell splitting are described in castellated mesh control section. The parameters that are listed below are well explained in snappy hex mesh dict file. N cells between levels defines number of cells for each refinement level. The higher it is, the more gradual the mesh will be. In the explicit feature edge refinement section, you can set specific refinement level for geometry's feature edges. The .emesh file can be obtained with the surface feature extract utility. In the surface based refinement section, you can set the refinement levels of all surfaces defined in geometry file. Mesh selection is a very important parameter. If the chosen point is inside the surface described in geometry file, then snappy hex mesh will create the internal mesh. Otherwise, the external part that is inside the block mesh is meshed. The next step involves moving cell vertex points onto the surface geometry. The snapping process is carried out by four parameters. N smooth patch, tolerance, N solve eater, N relax eater. These parameters control the number of iterations and tolerance between mesh and STL surface. N smooth patch option specifies the number of times the exterior that is the boundary wall should be iterated. The mesh will become smoother if the number of iterations are more. Tolerance option specifies the distance the program should look for a point to snap. The distance will be the number that is intolerance. N solve eater option 
specifies the number of times the snapping part of snappy hex mesh should be run. N relax eater option specifies the number of times the mesh should run a relaxing script that removes bad mesh points. The process of mesh layer addition involves shrinking the existing mesh from the boundary and inserting layers of cells. The first group of parameters define the dimension for layers and surface on which they will be attached. Relative sizes option that is true or false changes the way to read the parameters given next. True, next parameters define the layer's dimensions as parameters. False, next parameters define directly the layer's dimensions. In layers option, you can define the number of layers and the patch on which to attach the layers. It must be an STL patch in geometry submenu and not a user defined region. Expansion ratio parameters sets the growth factor of the layer, that is, ratio between two subsequent layers. Final layer thickness parameter sets the thickness of the last layer. Min thickness parameter sets the minimum allowable thickness of layer. Advanced settings is the second group of parameters. It contains more specific controls that can help in layer creation. Feature angle is the angle above which the surface will not be extruded. N relax eater option specifies the number of times the mesh will run a relaxing script. Max face thickness ratio option specifies the maximum allowable value of aspect ratio. Mesh quality controls parameter sets the minimum thresholds to generate mesh in snap and add layers part. In 99% of the cases, it is better to leave the default values, but sometimes you can deactivate one or more controls to force mesh generation. These are the different parameters in snappy hex mesh dict. These parameters are important to generate mesh using snappy hex mesh utility. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned different parameters in snappy hex mesh to generate mesh in open foam. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorials are part of Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on the same is available at following URL. This is Shaitrali Godke from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.